What's up guys? Today we've got an awesome video out at Hornet's Nest from the uh, Disc Golf Pro Tour Finale layout. So the craziest tees. The baskets are in a couple of different locations just because since it isn't a big event, um, they don't have the baskets up. Um, in this video, I'm prepping for a tournament that already happened. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys about that tournament as well. So uh, like I said, we played out at the Pro Tour Finale layout. Um, it rained the night before, so all the tee pads were super slick, um, and it was super windy that day. Like, it was wild. And the crazy thing is, is that not a single person from any division shot under par. Um, not only is that due to just the course, but also the conditions. Uh, for any of you who have played when the tee pads are really, really wet, it's hard to commit to your line. Uh, and it's hard to commit to your throw, so I had to start like changing discs and throwing a little bit softer and trying to play position golf and all that kind of stuff, which was frustrating, but you got to adapt to things that are happen on, happening on the course. Um, so I ended up getting third in the event, um, and listen to this, guys. I, I, I just want y'all to hear this, okay? So my round one, okay? My first round, I shot plus 11, Plus 11, and it was 950 rated. Now that shows you guys, like in, in the open division, there were 10 people, there were 16 in advanced. Um, intermediate had 16 as well. So open and advanced, 26 people, not a single person shot under par. Um, and plus 11 was 950 rated. And then my next round, I shot plus eight, and that was 970 rated. Um, I wish I had changed up my game plan while I was playing. If I had, if I could have seen into the future and known that people were going to shoot that poorly, I probably would have just thrown mid ranges and putters. And I think I could have shot, uh, probably plus three or something. If I just legitimately played position golf, um, and then thrown drivers where it was pretty easy to do so. But yeah, so this is the practice round that I had before, uh, that tournament. I haven't been able to edit it, but wanted to show you guys it because it was a pretty good round. Uh, I have been talking for two minutes. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Let's go ahead and jump into the round. Hey, what's up, friends? I'm out at Hornet's Nest practicing for the finale for the Another Round Disc Golf Point Series, uh, which is a point series that the shop does every year. Um, and it's going to be a wild one because we're going to be playing the MPO layout. Um, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Should be a blast. I've played this before, but I just wanted to get out and practice one more time before the tournament was coming weekend. So uh, yeah, let's get in, see how we can do. All right, y'all, hole one. I'm gonna throw this stag right here. Gonna throw it flat with some power. Um, since it's not tournament plastic like my other one, it should give me a little bit of a fade and then turn over. I don't think that it'll be, I don't think it'll be too flippy or anything. Yeah, that's really good. All right, so this is a really good shot. Um, just need about 60 more feet of distance on it. <laughs> Through the tight wooded gap. I'm throwing my, uh, my Molt Harp here uh, down the left and just wanna give myself a good look. Easy little putt here. All right, that was a little more understable than I thought, but it'll work. I know the glare is pretty bad right there for y'all. Sorry about that. That's what I get for coming out and playing early. All right, par on hole one. Not too bad from back there. You can easily get a bogey on it. All right, hole two here, 333 feet. I'm gonna throw my grace. Uh, I'm gonna aim at this tree on the left and expect a little bit of flip just from my throw. And then the basket isn't out there, so we'll figure out what we think we got once we get down there. But I have to practice this tee shot. I actually think I'm gonna like, these flags are up here to throw from. Yeah, we'll throw from them. All right, let's see what we can do here. Yeah. Just sit down on the island. Oh no. That might've gone deep. Uh, really, really bad disc selection there. I just don't want to throw my bounty and lose it. Because, like, that's my... 
I just, I just don't want to lose those mids that I have. Um, but during the tournament, I might change it. Here, there's no real way of us testing whether or not I would actually make the putt. Could I make a putt this far? Yes. Um, but I'm not going to give myself the benefit of the doubt on a drop zone putt. So um, we'll take a bogey on this one. Brutal. All right, so hole three here is probably one of the more iconic tee shots out here just because it's ridiculous. 581. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to throw my Sampo out on a hyzer, a big time hyzer. Um, it's going to drift left, and I'm going to hope that it's going to turn around down there. Um, if you guys have followed me on Instagram or even on this channel for a while, you saw me hit this with my stag, and it came up a little bit short, but I still, like, I love the Sampo. I know I can flip it, so I'm going to see if I can make it happen here with this. I got to give it a crazy hyzer. Ah, oh, turned over too soon. Oh! All right, y'all, so during the tournament, would I do this? Maybe, because I, since it's fall I, or winter almost, I still think I would have a shot. I'm gonna go with a little flex with the Colvern here. <clears throat> We did it. Uh, or we're short, but we didn't hit anything. All right, so I'm actually gonna take my um, Moonshine Pioneer here, because I need a really, we need a really hard flex out of this to get close to the basket. That's going to be a long putt. All right, tough kick off that tree, but I got to be a good putter, so let's get this in. Aim a little bit higher because it is uphill. Let's go. Good putt. Good solid stroke. All right, hole four here, 730 feet. Um, I'm gonna throw my heavyweight, max weight sapphire on a little bit of a hyzer. Um, we're just trying to push down there and get ourselves in a good position. Oh my gosh, that's so high. Miss that, please. Okay. That'll at least be in bounds, but that was not good. Okay, so I'm not even going to kid you guys. This is, this is an absolutely ridiculous drive. I was just looking for my disc 60 feet back there and was like, there's no way I made it any further. And I'm sitting up here in the middle of the freaking fairway. I feel like one of these geese must have picked it up and moved it. I don't throw like that. All right, so the basket I think is going to be in this location. They're not going to raise it up. Um, so I'm just going to throw... A sidearm, honestly, probably throw the culver in. I've really been liking it. <sighs> Sit down. Okay, so that's safe. That's gonna be a little bit of a putt, though. This is an extremely scary death putt. Um, and honestly, there's a good bit of wind out here compared to normal. We're going downhill just a little bit, so do my normal putt, just aim a little bit lower. <sighs> Waiting on that wind. <sighs> Come on. Y'all, I feel like, like that hit like somewhere around here and I was aiming right here. But it just shows you how well I know my putt. <laughs> All right, that's a sick birdie, dude. What the freak? I'm gonna try and throw my max weight sapphire here. Dude, that might be parked. Go in the basket? What? What are you talking about? 
Guys, this is insane. Like, this is insane to me. I don't make throws like that. Wow. What? 385. What? Let's go. All right, so this is 453. As you guys know, I threw 485 recently, but that was with some crazy wind, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna recreate that. Uh, but in honor of that really far throw, I am gonna take my uh, Lucid Air Trespass here, which is the disc that I did that with, and we're gonna pump it out flat and hope to get a good little flex out of it, maybe over the road, and then have it come back. Wow, Michael. Okay, that was a really nice shot. Um, yeah, that was really, really nice. I can't complain about that. Just gonna throw my harp. Little sidearm shot into the basket. Nice little chip shot. Save the par, no need to risk that. That's all I needed. I've actually really started liking this harp. Um, for anybody interested, if you go to ARDG.shop, you guys can get some of my discs. This is the stamp on all of them. I got harps, diamonds, escapes, lots of different things. All right guys, surprisingly enough, we're one down right now, which actually is surprising for me out here. Um, I'm gonna throw that heavy sapphire again and I want to get the same flight as I did on that other hole two holes ago. I'm going to throw this flat, try and just push it down there. Stable up. Dude, what am I doing today? All right, guys, so this is a really, really good drive on this hole. Um, perfect pin or perfect position, everything. It's just solid. Um, I want to get some good ground play up here in the trees. So I'm gonna throw my ballista on a hyzer. It'll pop up a little bit, just because it's not as stable as the ballista pro. So it should pop up just a little bit, but still hold the hyzer angle all the way down there um, into the trees. Oh my gosh. That was a really bad throw. I've only thrown that thing on, um, I've only thrown that on sidearm a couple times. Oh, my beat in fell in here. That was what I needed. Yeah, that's, that's a birdie. I don't think the other one is a birdie. All right, so this is actually uh, not the easiest of shots. Gonna throw an Annie. I'm probably gonna grab my Ruby, honestly. <clears throat> It'll help us get up close to the basket. Or it'll stable out. That's leaving us with a putt. So you guys can see where the felon is. Um, I was just too focused on throwing it on a hyzer when I should have just thrown an overstable disc flat and let it carry, which is what I did with the felon and it worked. Um, this is not a good shot from where I just was. Not a good shot at all. But that's okay. So par right there would have been a birdie with the felon, but that's okay, we're still one down. All right, so uh, this hole, you wanna push straight on the left side of that tree in the middle, or go hyzer to the right of it. But that's a little bit smaller of a gap. Honestly, with how I've been throwing this sapphire, I'm gonna throw it on a little bit of a hyzer um, on the inside and let it flip up and carry down to the corner. Got a little bit of a right to left wind, which honestly will push the face of it some. So not gonna do too much hyzer. Okay, it's out in the middle, hit a tree. Wind definitely did what I thought it was going to. All right, so this is actually, I still have a lot to cover distance wise. Um, 
I'm gonna throw this culverin on a pretty big Anheuser, knowing that it'll hopefully fight through and make its way back down. Got a big tailwind here, which is also gonna stable it up. It'll maybe push the, the flight plate to the left a little bit, which I'm okay with. See if we can make some magic here. That was a great shot. Just ended up being a little bit too stable. All right, so that shot was actually executed a little bit better than I thought. I thought I was gonna be a little bit shorter. Um, I needed just a little more ante out of it or just needed to beat in a little bit and then it would have been perfect for that shot. Um, this tree looks dead, but I don't think I can say that it is. So I got some branches in my face right now, but that's okay. Shutter yourself. These branches are super annoying. That's too right. Good distance though. There's the butt. Mm. All right, I mean, this shot needed to be a little bit better, but that'll still be a par. Honestly, really happy with the outcome of this hole. Um, off of that tee, off that tee shot that ended up hitting early left. That was a big flex that I hit. Um, just came up a little, like it, it just held a little bit too tight. So that was just wrong disc selection there. Um, I think if I had thrown the heavyweight sapphire on a little less of an Anheuser, I would have parked it. So now we know. All right, so I absolutely love this new pin position here. Um, I think it's such a fun shot. I'm gonna throw my Sampo vertical and hard. And it is going to flip and push straight and it is gonna be fun to watch. So enjoy. Yes, please. Oh! It flipped over so much. All right, so we came up pretty short here. Um, I'm just gonna throw my keystone on a tiny little hyzer and let it push down towards the basket. You pass that tree? Okay, big skip, but we gotta, we gotta putt at least. So we skipped a little bit past the basket, but that's okay. We're only about, I don't know, 12 feet away. A little low on that one. There we go. All right, guys, front nine. One down, man. One down because we had a couple of really big, like, six shots. I'm trying to think of where we got the bogey at. Oh, it was hole two, the water hole. Um, so, yeah, we're playing really, really good. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. The back nine will be coming out soon. Um, so, check that out. And, uh, yeah, love you guys. Peace.